Hello everyone, let us consider a situation. You are eating two chocolates onto the first day and three chocolates onto the second day and five chocolates onto the third day, nine chocolates onto the fourth day and seven chocolates onto the fifth day. So friends, what if I tell you to calculate the total number of chocolates which you have eaten until day one? So what will be your answer? So the total number of chocolates which you had eaten until day one is two. Similarly, the total number of chocolates which you have eaten until day two is five. The total number of chocolates you have eaten till day three is 10. And similarly for fourth and fifth days, it is 19 and 26. So friends, this particular thing which we are calculating, this is known as running sum into advanced SQL. So friends, we'll be seeing and learning this particular concept only into much more detail and we'll be seeing the SQL query for this on to how do we calculate this running sum column or running sum total into our data set and how this is useful into the real scenario. So friends, for this particular video, I have data set ready and I'll be explaining this particular concept into much more detail. So friends, do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information. And also I'll be bringing much more concepts into advanced SQL. So without further ado, let us quickly move to my screen. Friends, for this particular video, I have two data sets ready with me and we'll be seeing much more examples here and we'll be learning different concepts into running sum. You can see this particular data set. This is the very first data set and we'll be operating and seeing the running something. So I have taken a similar example, which I've talked into this video earlier, like the number of chocolates, which you have eaten onto the day one, day two. And similarly, as you can see, I have many number of days here. So I have from 1306 to 2206 dates here and the number of sales which has happened on to each of these dates and also i have imported this particular data set into my sql server here so if you want to know how do we import these data sets into my sql server so you can check out this particular video which is popping out right now onto your screen so friends let us import our data set or let us do a simple select star to see our data set onto our excel sheet so I have renamed the sheet as run. I'll just execute the code here. So you can see I've got this same data set. Now let us calculate the running something which I was talking about, like the total number of, for example, the total number of chocolates which you had eaten until day number three. And that would account to the total number of chocolates which you had eaten from the first day till today's date which we are talking about and we are just summing up them so let us see the sql query for calculating this particular number the running sum number here on to which column do we need to do our sum so the column name is sales and i'll be mentioning here over so this is also a window function which i'll be talking about so we'll be getting results for each row so over what so here we need to mention over which column do you want to get the total sales or the running sum total now here this concept which i'll be talking about is we'll be using the order by clause here now why do we need to provide the order by clause because if you remember into my example which i had mentioned the, the very first part of this video i was taking into account the days into the ascending order so I was talking about the day one, day two, day three, day four and day five. And why do I need to talk about this? Because this is how the SQL query it will work internally. So first of all, you need to provide a certain sequence in which your rows have been organized and then the SQL query will operate onto them. For example, into my data set, which you can see here, I have these dates as unorganized unorganized in the sense you can see this is into the descending order the very la first date or the larger date is coming into the topmost row the least date is coming into the last row but we don't want this because for running sum we usually order our values or the date column into ascending order we need to tell our code to assign or organize our data set into the ascending order onto the basis of the date column so i'll just mention here order by date and then I'll be mentioning the syntax as rows between. Now, 
what is this rose between concept so i've explained this concept into lot of more detail into my previous video so you can see that particular video to understand this particular concept but if i would have to summarize this i can summarize this with the help of this particular image which you can see here so for any current row we need to operate if we want to operate into the rows which are preceding the current row or the row which is following the current row we'll be using this rows between concept here let's say our data set has been organized into the ascending order so we'll be seeing this so let us organize our data set in ascending order so i'll be shorting this particular column and you can see our data set has been organized so for 1306 i am getting 905 as sales and that is pretty much correct so for after writing this order by sales first of all internally our data set would be organized like this like it will be organized into the ascending order onto the date column now the result which we want is something like so for this particular column it will come as 905 for this particular cell it will come as this particular cell value plus the total number of sales which has happened into the number of rows which are preceding this particular current row so for this particular cell it will be 1 2 4 4 as the running sum similarly for the row number as 4 the total number of sales or the running sum sales will be they will be will be taking into account the current row sales and the total sales which has happened into the rows which are preceding the current row so we don't know how many rows would come up before the current row which we are tackling upon or which we are operating upon For this particular thing will be using this rows between concept so if we want to get the total number of rows or the entire rows which are preceding the current row will be using this unbounded preceding concept so i have explained this into much more detail into my previous video of rows between you can watch uh, that particular video too if you want to understand this into much more clear way so what is this column so this column is the running sum column and we'll be getting this using sql query let us calculate this running something into the excel first of all so for example this particular row number as five so if we want to calculate the running sum for this particular row so what will be the concept so i'll just select this particular cell here and i'll just use this particular concept and i'll make c2 as constant because we want the entire range or the number of rows which are coming before the current row so i'll just make c2 as constant i'll hit enter and i'll just drag this formula to the very last and you can see for each row which we are getting here if i'll just make this formula very much visible here so it is taking into account the current row and the number of rows before the current row similarly for this particular cell it is taking this particular row and the number of rows before the current row and this particular concept i was talking about into my video earlier with, with the example of the chocolates so friends let us calculate write the final query in sql on how do we calculate this running sum so uh, rows between and first of all we will be providing the number of rows which are coming or if we are operating on the rows which are preceding our current row so that is true yeah we are operating on the rows which are before the current row so we'll be using this unbounded preceding concept so i'll just write here unbounded preceding because we don't want like how many rows would come up before the current row so that is why we are just writing here unbounded preceding as you can see here and the number of rows which we want to operate which are below the current row so particular case we are not operating into the rows which are coming below the current row so into this case what we will be writing so we'll be using this particular syntax here which is and current row and that's all so this also makes sense no if you look closely here so we are telling our code to first of all order by date and then we are telling to calculate the sum sales between rows between unbounded preceding like the total number of rows which are be coming before the current row and the current row taking into account that particular thing that particular range as you can see into the excel it is taking into account the current row and the total number of cells or the rows which are coming before the current row 
let us rename this column whatever we have calculated as running sum and let us finally execute our query so you can see we have got our result of the running sum let us verify some of the results for for row number 8 it is 5100 and 5578 is that correct or not let us verify into our excel so it is 5100 and 5578 and that is exactly correct absolutely correct this is the concept for the running sum total which we are calculating into sql so if you want to know into much more detail about this rows between concept i have made a detailed video you can watch that video also moving ahead i'll take in another example here so i'll just present this particular data set so i'll just do this select star from sum p i guess yeah execute the query invalid okay it is should be dbo also i'll just execute this query oh it is run p okay so you can see we have got our data set here i have also the excel sheet ready with me and this excel sheet is also very much simple to understand so for example you can see i have the id column i have just uh, inserted a state column here into this particular data set to make you understand some more concepts on to this running sum column c i have the date column and into the column d i have the total number of sales which has happened into that particular state into this particular date and the total number of sales for for example into jharkhand state on to this particular date which is 2206 the total number of sales which has happened is 603 so you can just take this as a simple data set here now into the previous example we were getting just the total number of sales which were happening on to the date basis but here moving forward a more level up i want to get the total number of sales or the running total sales for each state so for example what is the answer which i want is so for each state i want to get the running total or the running sum of the total sales which has happened i don't want to take the data set as a whole i want to take the states and calculate the running sum separately for each states which i have mentioned here let us see this how to calculate uh, this per into such cases also so for this we'll be using another concept into sql which is advanced sql which is partition by so from the name itself it is very much clear that we are talking about partitioning our data set so on to what basis on to what column do we need to partition our data set we want to get the total sales or the running sum sales on to the basis of the state column so we'll be partitioning our data set on to the basis of the state column so let us see this let us calculate this also so i'll just mention a comma here and then i'll be mentioning here sum sum over what so sum over sales and then over and before order by clause so into the previous example we had written this order by clause here so definitely we'll be ordering our data set on to the basis of the date column and that is a mandatory thing here because to calculate the running sum our data set should be organized into a certain manner so using the order by clause is mandatory and we'll be using that but before that before even ordering our data set internally what happens so internally our data set would be partitioned and then the other operations would be taken upon so very first case will be partitioning our data set will be mentioning here partition by so on to what basis we need to partition by as we have discussed so we need to partition our data set on to the basis of the state column here and then we'll be using the order by clause so on to what basis so after let's say we have partition each of our data set on to the basis of the state so for jharkhand state so let's say one partition has been created similarly for bihar let's say second partition has been created similarly for maharashtra let's say a third partition has been created so internally first of all we are telling our code to maintain or create such partitions after this what will happen after this you can see the data set is unorganized into each of the partition first of all we need to order our data set or organize our data set onto the basis of the date column 
so the very first date like this is not necessary this is not mandatory this is on to the basis of your problem which you will be tackling upon but for this particular case i want to just calculate the running sum which has happened from the very first day to calculate the running sum which has happened from the last day or itself but i am concerned more concerned with the total number of running sum or the running sales which has happened from the first day itself and that also makes sense no like if we are calculating the running sum from the very first day itself like that makes more sense instead of calculating the running sum from the last day of the month or last day of the uh, whatever duration which you are taking upon so after we have partitioned our data set here we need to tell our code to order our each of the partitions which we have created onto the basis of the date column so we'll be mentioning here order by date so i'll just be taking a, an example onto one of the partitions here and similar operations would happen onto all these partitions as well so i'll just copy this particular data set onto the next sheet here and this and let us sort this particular data set onto the basis of yes sort this so you can see the data set has been sorted and this will happen internally after i have mentioned here order by date now when i have ordered by date after that the similar operations will happen we need to mention the rows between clause to calculate the running sum so rows between unbounded preceding so the total preceding values of the total number of rows which are preceding the current row which are coming before the current row so we'll be taking all that into account plus the current row here for running sum we are not concerned with the number of rows which are coming after the current row like this is not a rule kind of thing but you can take into account like it is on to the basis of the problem which you are solving so you can take into account the following rows as well so for ex this a particular example here i'll be just be mentioning over partition by state order by date and rows between unbounded preceding and current row and let us rename this as running total that's all that's all is required let us execute the query here so you can see we have got the running total column here for each of the states so for example for bihar you can see 717 for the very first day and 1044 for the next day and similarly the data set has been partitioned first of all onto the basis of the each state and then it has been acted upon four is coming for the jharkhand state and this is how we use the partition by concept to calculate the running sum when we are having multiple data sets multiple categories which are present into our data set into a particular column so friends i hope you had found this video very much helpful and please practice this particular concept as much more as you can because this is a common concept which are asked a lot of many times into the interviews onto the window functions into the advanced sql concept so friends i'll be bringing into much more detailed videos various concept on sql so do like this video if you had found this video helpful and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information meet you in the next video thank you so much bye